Hi guys, good evening, how are you? My name is Dr. Ndeko, yes, I am a pathologist and uh, I was representing IMLU as uh, when uh, we conducted the post-mortem examination and uh, we have done the autopsy and the findings are conclusive almost because uh, we have found that uh, Caroline lost a lot of blood internally and externally she was about five to six week, uh, months pregnant with a male fetus. Unfortunately, I think uh, somebody mutilated the, uh, the fetus. It has no one left upper lip. It has no brain because it has been sucked out and the brain, the, the skull, are, you know, the, flux, the bones are fractured. And uh, there is a lot of blood in the abdominal cavity. And the fetus was actually in the abdominal cavity. It had kind of... Uh, come out of the uterus because the uterus had been perforated at the back, a very big gaping hole, and uh, this led to bleeding. Therefore, what we are seeing is that uh, somebody, somewhere, somehow, uh, attempted to either dismember the fetus and then remove some parts, like, because like the upper lip, the left, of, the whole of it is not there. Some parts of the bones of the skull are not there and there is quite a lot of blood there and she is she's very pale otherwise we also find uh, some uh, needle puncture marks on the left uh, on the right cubit of fossa meaning that there was some medical intervention somewhere and uh, i don't know we have taken some test specimens we see what kind of medicine that uh, maybe was injected or this or that therefore uh, the cause of death to the late uh, Caroline is bleeding or hemorrhage or exagonation due to a ruptured uterus and this is from uh, some uh, surgical interference which was not successful because the fetus is still there, mutilated. And uh, the question I think someone was asking is, how did it happen? I don't know. This is where we need the police officers and the other investigators to go and now find out what you call the circumstantial evidence to see how it was done. Was it done with high intentions or without high intentions? Was it done when she was uh, maybe conscious or unconscious? Okay? So we have taken some specimens to maybe just uh, rule out other chemical poisoning or anything, but uh, the cause of death is clear. It's bleeding due to that ruptured uh, uterus. Are there any other physical... No other physical injuries? Apart from the needle puncture marks, no other injuries anywhere. Is there anything to show there was force maybe on her hands was she trying to do that? I said no. No sign of uh, what you call struggle. No sign of uh, defensive injuries. Therefore, your guess is good as mine. How soon can we know? It is a conclusive report. The toxicology is just a question of uh, maybe a by the me to just rule out or confirm something. But the conclusion of a report is conclusive. Okay. Your other name, Peter Ndegwa. Peter Ndegwa, Peter Ndegwa. yes. Okay, let me ask, um, what about the wound? So in a wound. I need to first go It's only a surgical incision which was done at the set mortuary for embalming. No other injury I've seen. Or rather we have seen. We were so many of us, so it's not only me. And the body of Caroline has told us what happened. Are there any other questions? What did it take so long? Did you have no, no, no. The, the, the problem, the, the, well, you guys, you know, you're impatient, but the dead are not impatient. They are very, I mean, they are very patient. What we did is that when the body was admitted there, we remember you identified the body the other day. And then you see there is kind of like, uh, what do you call this union, uh, this uh, action of the, the clinic, uh, clinical so the workers. The motion is now working, not working at all. There are no workers. They are in the streets. So we... There is no way we can do anything there without uh, mortations. And there are no mortations. I, I don't know if you have been there. Mm -hmm. This body, I don't know who even got it from there. Most likely, mostly the police got it out because there are no workers. And there is no hurry in these things because what we are saying is everybody should be represented. In fact, I was not happy that they, they alleged. You know, there is someone who is in because he's the doctor who did something. There is a clinic owner. Those people are ideally should be represented in the autopsy. And they should be given time, enough time for them to nominate as a representative in the form of a pathologist. So I, to me, there was no hurry. And uh, you remember Dr. Duol was not around. What was the hurry for? 
and the body is preserved. And when it is preserved, most likely there is no other issue of decomposition, and the cause of death will remain. One thing I've learned about the dead is that the dead are patient, unlike the living who are very patient. For clarity's sake, you said that the fetus was five to six weeks? Yes, five, five to six months. weeks, yes. Months. 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 months, months, not weeks. Months, months. Just months. months. yes. Months. The fetus. The fetus, yes. Fetus. You can even tell the can you even tell the Jeddah is a male, is a male fetus. That's quite advanced. Okay. Are there any other? Let's take one more question, then I'll invite the. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, it's like Not like it's an abortion, an abortion abortion. The 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 the, 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 the fetus is dismembered. You know. So it's like maybe like. Sorry. Yeah, it's surgical. Okay. So can I suggest that there may be some additional questions from uh, friends and community of Karo yes. that maybe we can take them behind here and allow the other statement to be read mm. now so that it doesn't get confused with the media Are you okay? interview. Are you okay? You okay? Any questions okay? for the doctor specifically from the media?